A lot of software these days includes easy options to add subtitles, with VLC even having a database of subtitle files for you to download. But these subtitle files can be out of sync. Subsync is here to help, syncing up subtitle files with movies when they're out of sync, using speech recognition and other tools. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier, and this is how to sync subtitle or SRT files with videos. If your entertainment horizons extend beyond your own language, you know that only a select few foreign movies and series end up dubbed. For the rest, you have to rely on subtitles. Unfortunately, the vast majority of subtitles are created by hobbyists based on their version of a video that could be different from yours. Thus, they probably won't play in sync with your video. Until recently, you would either have to find different subtitles, wait for someone to create one, or synchronize them yourself. Now smart tools like Subsync, Subtitle Speech Synchronizer, can do it automatically in less than five clicks. Let's see how. Subsync is cross-platform compatible and can be used on Windows, Mac OS and Linux. I'll be using the Linux version for this video. Installation. If using an Ubuntu compatible distribution, you'll find Subsync in its software center. Alternatively, you can install it in a terminal with the following command, sudo apt install subsync. After it's installed, launch the program and also open your favorite file browser, pointing it to the folder with your video and problematic subtitles. Find more subtitles. Even if you can't find adequately synchronized captions for your language, it's worth doing a quick search to see if you can find some highly rated ones in other languages. If you do, download them. Even if you don't understand their language, if you find synchronized subtitles, Subsync will be able to use them as a reference for syncing yours. Add the unsynchronized subs. Place Subsync in your file manager windows next to each other. Choose the file of the problematic subtitles that are in your language that you would like to fix and drag and drop it to the subtitles field of Subsync. In almost all cases, your subtitles will only have a single stream, so the only thing you will have to do in the window that pops up is select your language from the pull down menu and then click OK. Reference subs or video. If you found synchronized subtitles in a different language to use as a reference, drag and drop that file to the references, video or other subtitles field of Subsync. If you didn't, use the video itself instead. Subsync will be able to analyze its audio and map any speech patterns it detects to the subtitles. Since this is somewhat slower, if available, opt to use subtitles in a foreign language as a reference. As before, set your language in the window that pops up and click OK. Start the sync. With the two files selected, the only thing that remains is to click on the Start button for the process to begin. Depending on the language you choose, Subsync will inform you that it needs to fetch some new assets, except the download. The download file will be relatively small, so you won't have to wait for more than a few seconds. Please do note though that this is for a specific language. If you choose a different language in the future, Subsync will prompt you again to download more speech recognition models. Sync points. When syncing your subtitles, Subsync tries to find matching points in either the foreign but synchronized subtitles or the video that you're using as a reference. The more points it finds, the more accurate the results. When it thinks it's found enough syncing points, Subsync will inform you that you can save the subtitle. For better results, wait for the process to fully complete to find all possible syncing points. In case of failure. Sometimes the process might fail. In our case, the subtitles were perfectly synchronized. But when this does happen, it's time to pay a visit to the program's options. Click on the button with the three dots and choose settings. We can't suggest a single tweak that could fix all subtitle problems since it, each case is completely different. As a starting point, you can reduce the number of minimum points number to say 15. In other cases, you could try increasing the max point distance or decreasing the min words similarity and min speech recognition score to reduce the syncing accuracy. It would be best if you tried this as a last resort, since in many cases those tweaks lead to what can only be described as suboptimal results. Check and rename. When the process completes successfully, save the new synchronized subtitle file in your videos folder. Open your video in your favorite media player and load your new subtitle over it. Barring a rare fluke, the audio and text will match. 
If you're happy with the results, delete the older problematic version of the subtitles and rename the new file so that it has the same name as the video minus its extension. This way most media players will understand it as a subtitle file for the specific video and auto load your subtitles when you open it. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.